Good morning. It is Tip Tuesday and I'm your girl, Shantae Parker from Bennett Realty Solutions and Shantae Parker Real Estate. Well, today I want to talk about the something that is near and dear to my heart, which is the short sale. The short sale. I close approximately, I have closed over 100 short sales in my 15 year career of, of, of being a real estate agent. But on a regular basis, on a monthly basis, I am listing short sales and I am selling them. I'm probably one of the um, few people in this area who masters, who has mastered the short sale process of getting short sales listed and approved and actually sold. And I work with an outstanding company that helps me with the negotiations of these short sales. They actually do the negotiations because realtors are not allowed to do that, but I pair you with them. Um, and I have an exemplary close rate of short sales. The reason why I want to talk about this today is because I was inspired last night. I am a member of the Prince George's County Investment Club. My real estate company, Ben and Realty Solutions, is an investor friendly company. And it is the reason why I came back to this company because I want to strictly focus on real estate investing, building my real estate investment portfolio, and I want to um, grow wealth and become a wealthy person. So real estate investing is the way to do that. But before any of that, I'm a real estate agent first and I care um, and I have a heart for helping people. So thus today's tip Tuesday is about the short sale process. So let's start with education. What is a short sale? What does that mean? A short sale is when you owe more than what your house is actually worth or what your actually you owe more when what your house is worth. Your mortgage is higher than the actual market value of the property. Anybody who purchased a home between, I would say, 2004 and 2009 is possibly in this situation if they purchase in Prince George's County. There are many, many homes in the D.C. area that are in this same um, situation. Part of the problem from those years is that mortgage industry was turned on its head. You could get a loan just for breathing and have a social, having a social security number. It, they did what was called the state of income or no doc loan. So they allow people to purchase homes that they couldn't actually afford. And trying to do a loan modification has become a very difficult process for many, many people. So there are people who are currently, and, and also in Prince George's County and in DC, there was what's called a moratorium on foreclosure. So people were able to sit in their homes without paying for the last you know for years and years and years dc it was seven years in prince george's county they, it was so many foreclosures and short sales that the banks kind of just um the moratorium happened and the banks just didn't pursue you so there are people who sat in their homes without paying for six months a year two years three years i know somebody that hasn't paid their mortgage in four years and they are still living in the house and no foreclosure date in sight eventually they're going to come and they're going to remove that person from the house and they're going to sell it. So instead of waiting for a foreclosure, so let's talk about that. A short sale is when you owe more than what the house is worth. The short sale is an excellent solution if you want to A, try to restore your credit at some point, B, if you want to buy another house at some point, and C, you could possibly get some assistance moving, which, which they call relocation funds. So a foreclosure, you don't get anything. You basically basically are in default it's the legal proceeding that the bank um uses in court to get you removed from the property and they basically take the property back from you it stays on your credit for up to seven to ten years you cannot get conventional financing if you want to purchase another house until seven years have expired after the short sale date that not, not the actual short foreclosure date but when it actually transfer from you from out of your name and the bank's name to the other person so that you don't even know when that is. So um, the foreclosure, sometimes also you could be charged for that negative equity. So let's say your house, you owe 700000 it gets foreclosed on and they sell it for 300000 That $400,000 in negative equity that you didn't pay, they can tack back on to you, especially if you had a second trust mortgage. So we don't want any of that. What, what I want to share, the good news is that you can do a short sale. A short sale is a great solution for many many reasons one you can short sell your home and still continue to live in it and if you are in default you can continue to live in that state while the short sale is being processed um the short sale oftentimes they let you walk away free and clear there is no tack on of 
the mortgage after the fact. Now, every case is different, but usually in my experience, this is what I've seen. I've also seen people get what's called relocation funds. I have seen zero to up to $30,000 in relocation funds. The average has been about $10,000 in relocation funds. In recent years, since Obama has left the presidency in the White House, it's very between 3000 and 10000 but it's better than getting nothing. If you're living in a foreclosure house, a house that is in foreclosure, it goes to the court and it's sold on the courthouse steps, you don't get one dime. In fact, you don't get any help to move um, and somebody's going to knock on your door and say, hey, I bought your house at foreclosure and you're going to have to go. Um, and we don't want that to happen. The short sale is the path of least resistance for you. It's the path of do over for you. You can immediately purchase a home shortly thereafter. Um, bankruptcy is a whole nother topic, but bankruptcy is not necessarily the answer because although you file bankruptcy, let's say you do a chapter seven and you think, okay, all my debt has been removed. That house has not been removed. It, you're, it's just removed from you, from you, but you're not removed from the obligation because then when you try to go short sale, all the obligation comes back again. Um, and it's just nasty. So it's actually better to do the short sale prior to doing anything else. I'm currently doing a short sale with several people. We are under contract. They go, they go relatively quickly. Investors love to purchase them. I have a pool of investors that I work with that would be very interested um, to you know, purchase a short sale. It is not necessarily short. Um, is it a good deal? It can be. Um, it's not necessarily short in terms of the price for the person that's buying it, for the investor. Um, because the bank still wants pretty much 80% of what is owed to them. So the bank sends out an appraiser. They send out a, um, a realtor who does what's called a BPO, and which is a broker price opinion, and they come up with the value. Um, so I list. I come to your house. I list the house for sale. We know that it's a short sale. We I, I do the comps, and I list it based on what I think it's going to sell for. We get an offer. We, we process it just like we would do any normal sale. Um, once it gets appraised, it goes on to their, um, it gets a negotiator. That person sends an appraiser out. They look at the file and they decide if you qualify for the relocation expenses. Again, each person is different. Each sale is different. Um, but oftentimes I see this happen. And then they give us what's called a short sale approval letter, which gives us the permission to move forward. The person buys the property, we move on. Now this could take anywhere from 30 days up to nine months. So again, you're still living in the property. It's a good time to save your money. It's a good time to plan accordingly where you're going, what you're gonna be doing after the short sale happens. But the short sale is a really, really good option. I have a video about it. Um, you can go to my YouTube page, Shantae Parker Real Estate, and you'll see that video there, or I'll post it below um, where I really go further in detail explaining the short sale process and why it's a good solution for you. But I just wanted to share Tip Tuesday. If you know anyone that is behind in their mortgage, you know anyone, I mean, there are people in DC is a good place where people have died and they had a mortgage. So the mortgage still exists, even though the person died, it still exists on the property. So the family has not been paying the mortgage and the mortgage is just behind, behind, behind. For example, I um, sold a condo one time down there um, by Capital One Arena, really awesome place to have a condo. The person died in 2007 and the family didn't contact me until like 2010. So for three years, nothing was happening with this property. It was just sitting there um, and it could have went to foreclosure way before that. So it's not worth the risk. If you want to sell the property, please call me. If you know anybody that's in a situation, please call me. If you know anybody who has a deceased family member and they it would, and the home has a mortgage, please call me. Um, I'm here to help. I'm an expert at doing this. Um, I have plenty of people that I can um, bring into the process to assist us. If you're looking for a quick, let me get clean my hands of this. I just want quick cash. I want to close in seven days, seven to 10 days. I have that too. Um, if you know anybody that has a home, um, a family home that they want to get rid of, an ugly home that they want to get rid of. Maybe they're in a house and they just, they got married and they just want to upgrade, but they can't, they think they can't because they're in this house that's upside down. Call me. I have the solution for all situations. I am your girl. I am Shantae Parker of Shantae Parker Real Estate and Bennett Realty Solutions. My job is to help you. My job is to assist you with whatever you need and to assist everybody you know for whatever they need. So please share this video. 
that's it for today. I'm going to be hosting a class on April 14th um, with Have It For Homes. If you know anybody that's in the market and they want to know how to get a quick fifteen dollars up to $30,000 in cash to buy a home, this is the place for them to go. The spring market is hot, hot, hot. Um, I just wrote a contract for one of my favorite couples and we got ratified, but it was like five other offers and we beat them out. So you need somebody that is aggressive. You need somebody that works hard. You need somebody that puts your interests first. You need somebody that cares. And that's me. So you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you for watching. This is Tip Tuesday. Until next time and next Tuesday, I'll see you later. Take care. Love you guys. Share the video. Don't forget.